Okay, guys, we're back. Oh my god, the, the last, uh, the last one. As usual. Really rough. Poor Jonas. Um, I don't even know if we can, like, save them or not. Uh, I have no idea. What you want? Tell Michael he should go to school here. Okay, seriously, who are you? I'm still guessing that's just another player, right? It's gotta be another player. Why are they giving me that information though? So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game, pretty please. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. She, uh, tried, kinda. It was much harder than it looked, trust me. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster. Clarissa is only like one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh, uh, fucking no, man. good question. Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She, she wrote in her journal or something or other about tuning into the source of the problem in the cave. And I think she was talking about the ghosts. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What kind of name look. is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait. Is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Epiphany Fields. Let's go, guys. You're too slow. So we're just gonna have to get the real, right? All right. There's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January '52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos, yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh... God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Really? 
giant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. Okay. So we have to go to the bridge stand? Okay. Alright. Break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me, I won't want to know. Well, now I'm gonna run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No. A pissing fields, okay. Oh, what the fuck is happening? What? Alex, Alex, okay. Are you are you back to normal? I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider then. <laughs> No, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading it to the wood station right about now. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Well, wait. Okay. I guess they're fine. For them. What does- Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. Alright. See you after, at the bomb shelter. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually? In, uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. <laughs> you think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I think this, um, stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah. It's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Me too, Jonas. Me too. As we go up. Um, do we go up or do we take the ferris? Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. God, we're in another loop de loo They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. So we go up top of the hill again, or what? Really not letting me do anything. Fuck. I, I guess I go over here now. No? What'd you want from me, ghost? Fuck. 
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, um, maybe go over here. Yeah, you, you, you like me going over here? Is going over here fine? Of course it's fine. There's nothing fucking here to do. Like we... <laughs> we gotta go. Uh, I guess we go down, right? We go down? Uh... Ren! No, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. He... He died. I couldn't. No, no, come on. Clarissa was dead too, but like bunny ears dead, not dead dead. Because apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Nona. I didn't mean anything. What happened? He... he drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either what way, the fuck? Done. And done in this case is particularly done. Fix Ren, whatever you want to call it. I know you're doing it. Just fix it. It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. Yeah, sure. Just like you infesting us like lice isn't your fault either. That we have and will own up to, but the other stuff, that we're afraid is on you. Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you... Proposition? Like what? It's already over, Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But, if you agree to let us take her, let her go, quietly, without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the one, anyway. I don't, I don't get it. Why do you even need my permission if you have her already? Don't misunderstand. We don't need anything from you except what we can willingly take. We're merely offering you an arrangement that would leave both parties Satisfied. Well, somewhat satisfied. Your friends would be fine. And you're not so... Oh, forget it. No deal. Everyone is coming home with me. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? <sighs> fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we did intend to provide you all the rules. What the fuck? These fucking bitches, man. Do they have to be in another order? Okay, they can't be done fast. Okay. I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then. He was just... gone. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but... I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's... I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is... He was more important. No, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him, so... If he can hear this at all, trust me. He's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He hopes he did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing.
The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I, I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway... Yeah, uh, that is true. Anyone there? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? Anybody? <gasps> that's Jonas? what I care about. God. Jonas? Yeah, Punch Alex no, that's, a, that's a bonus, too. Seriously, right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it. Time's a wasted. Like, mm -hmm. actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasting away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that... No, it was the... It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. <laughs> it wasn't that high. It was like... It was I can't, I can't skip this or something, right? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it... Ugh, just whatever, I'm fine. She is fine, it's true. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, just... Whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stuff, exactly. <laughs> okay, over. Over now. Why do you have to have a last word? Over is good enough. Over now. Radio locked. I keep forgetting this thing is that. Okay, I just have to tune it. Okay, before I hit the button, uh, we'll leave it here for now, guys. Uh, see you on the next one. Bye.